joined now by Syracuse head coach Gary Gate ahead of tomorrow's game against Army West Point and High Point on Saturday. Open it up for questions. Gary, Jake Stevens was state day last week, you know, missed out on that game. Can you update on him, status for him? Um, still questionable for tomorrow. We're not sure what, what what's going to happen, but um, you know, he's he's getting there. So hope that I'm back soon. It's an upper body. Injury. Upper body. Yeah. Without Jake against Utah, how do you think your face-off unit looked? Obviously, the numbers were great, but <laughs> I think why I kind of stepped in on the wings. What do you think of him? I I, I think uh, you know it was nice to see some other guys get opportunities and do well. So I think we got our, our work cut out for us tomorrow for sure against uh, one of the best face-off guys in the country again. So uh, I think they're they're all excited. I know the whole unit is thrilled to have an opportunity to have a battle again and, and really be tested. When you look at Kaletti, coach, what does he do well? He he does it all. He's you know one of the guys that can win it, clamp, self clamp. He can counter. He can just make it a loose ball. And um, you know the good thing is we got a couple guys that can do the same thing, and they're they're up for the challenge. So I'm excited. Besides the besides the face off unit, what else stands out about Irving this year? There's the you know they. They've been the same for the last few years where they're just, they're, they're deep, they're strong, they're athletic, they're disciplined, they're focused, they, they're a very good, solid team. They don't make a lot of mistakes and you have to play a great game to have success against them. have such a great history here that um, you know uh, I'm sure that they come in and it's an opportunity to play a, a story team and for us you know a, a service academy is you know it, these are people that will protect this country in the future and, and we're just thrilled to be able to compete against people of that caliber and I think I'm just telling our guys you got to be disciplined as well you got to be you're going to match their intensity and you really have to step up and, and play well under pressure. So, you know, um, it's going to be a great game. How I'm important saying. was it to get this game back on the schedule, given you guys didn't play last year, but these two have been going at it, you know, since like the 1920s? Yeah, I, you know, I certainly remember a few games back in my day, but um, I think there's so many teams that we've played over the years, you know, Missing a year with Cornell was tough. Missing a year uh, with Army's tough. But, um, you know, I keep trying to put the best schedule for the team out there. And I think it's great that we have these guys back. And uh, certainly we'd like to continue it on in the future. And hopefully uh, scheduling is always different, especially here when you're sharing a facility uh, with, uh, you know, three other teams uh, during our season. So. It's always tough uh, getting it done and getting it right and getting everybody you want to play all the time. So we'll continue and hopefully we'll see these guys again for a few more years to continue. What's the preparation been like? Um, it seems like this year just a few more Wednesday games uh, than previous seasons. Does that yeah, change the weekly schedule at all? Uh, you know, it, there, there's, it's just been a weird schedule just because it was conflicts and trying to make it fit in with the, the, the availability of the Dome. It's been a weird kind of set up for games so um, but it's the way it is you know we deal with it and we move forward and we try and prepare our team the best we can and and uh, you know we don't make excuses about it and we just play. This Army team is a, a little bit different from the last time you guys played them with uh, you know no Bobby Ashire, Brendan McTurn I guess what have you been talking about with the defense to now start some of their new um, stops some of their new weapons? Well, well, I think their defense, one of the top defenses in the country, so it'll be a great challenge for our offense. And and they just, you know, make plays on the offensive ends. They're deliberate, consistent, and, um, you know, it's going to be, you know, both ends of the field are going to be tested, and it's going to be, you know, it's a game we need right now. We need to prove that we're capable of playing at this, you know, top five, top ten level and winning these games. So, you know, it's a great chance for us, great opportunity, and we're uh, looking forward to the challenge. Coach, Mason has been a huge part of your game on face-off so far this season. What has helped him make that transition from Division Three? 
I, I think he's, you know, Mason's a Division One athlete, and uh, you know he's playing Division Three hockey. But I'm sure he could have had the opportunity. He did have the opportunity to play Division One hockey, and uh, you know, pick the school that fit him best. Uh, and you know, we got lucky that he looked at Syracuse, and you know, we. we Certainly, we hoped he would be everything that he is, and he's delivered so far, so we're thrilled. Coach, talked to, talking with Owen, um, he kind of talked about Army playing an aggressive brand of defense. How do you try and, on offense, counter that and use their aggressiveness um, to your Well, you move the ball, you try and get them into, you know, making some approaches on your dodges. You don't allow them to set up every time you, you attack the net. Um, so. Coach March has his plan in place, and uh, I feel pretty confident that we'll score some goals and we'll have some success. High point's been a really strong team this year, too. Uh, previewing that game, too. You've already done this a few times this season, preparing for multiple teams yes, at once. Yeah. But uh, what are you looking forward to? Well, I kind of look at High Point uh, very similar to uh, Utah in, in the way they play. They like to play fast, they like to do some things a little differently. Um, and, and they like the challenge. So we've, we've done kind of some of the work for High Point already in preparing for Utah. So um, at least, you know, we won't, go in it, we won't be going into that game with, you know, just one or two days of prep. We'll have at least practiced some of the things we'll implement uh, previously. So hopefully we'll be in good shape. Last question. Last, um, you mentioned that he is a Division One athlete. You were lucky to get him. What was that process like? getting him to campus you know did you make the initial reach out was it through him how did that whole process work oh my gosh um, <laughs> well first he was in the portal mm -hmm. so that was that was number one and had him uh, on our list and then uh, I don't remember exactly how you could probably ask him he probably remembers a lot better than I do but um, I just know he, he when we did talk he was interested and wanted to check us out and I know he had a couple places he was looking at and um, we did get him here.